Hi everyone, welcome back, uh, and thank you to everyone for the positive feedback and for the new subscribers. I really appreciate it all, and um, I hope uh, you guys are all learning something new um, when you watch my videos. Um, today I'm going to be going through like a track breakdown for a song uh, by uh, Jessie London. She's a, an Australian musician and a singer-songwriter, and I do tend to work with a lot of singer-songwriters. It um, tends to be something that I kind of focus on as well as my mixing. Um, and we had an absolute blast working on a, a bunch of tunes a few years ago. And this was probably one of our favorites um, called Do You Still Care? And we are actually re-recording it. So this was done probably, you know, uh, this is over over 10 years ago. And so you may see a couple of odd sort of plugins. And um, that's because it's from a, an old session. And yeah, so we're recording this, re-recording this with like a live band uh, later in the year. And we um, are just rearranging some lyrics and chord progressions here and there. So um, you know, I'm going to play it and then I'll go through some of the parts and, and you can see kind of um, what, what it's all made up of. It's all programmed other than the piano. Uh, the guitars and obviously the vocals oh, and the bass guitar as well. So I played all the guitars. Um, Jessie played the piano. She's quite an accomplished musician, um, piano pianist. And you sh um, I'll see. I'll put a link f to her YouTube channel as well, so you can um, you can check her out and see um, and see her basically play some songs live. Uh, okay, so here we go. Uh, do you still care? me in from out of the rain seems like it took all day to find you again questions keep on coming have you got something to say rain keeps on falling you start to drift away I thought i could depend on you thought you'd come through like all the times before when i Sure, I knew, but today you left us in the search for you. Yeah, I'll be the one to make the calls again. I didn't see this coming, didn't need to feel this lonely and confused. Oh, I, I was hoping. Okay, great. So that's the vibe of the track. And um, yeah, so I'm not sure what we should start with, but um, I was just running through basically the, the vocal chain that I have on her. Um, you know, it's it's not a final mix or anything, this, um, this project, but um, um, so I, I had the Pro, the Pro Q, uh, Pro Q3 on the, on the vocal, just sorting out a few sort of frequencies um had the deessa after that um the gate and then the compressor now i mean i may not typically go that sort of hard with the compression in on one sort of compressor i may split that up over a few um sometimes even sort of run a parallel chain compressor chain underneath it um to do sort of a lot of the a lot of the heavy sort of lifting so to speak um so we can kind of still retain the dynamic of the lead vocal otherwise it just you know it might just sound a little too you know, a little too undynamic um couldn't think of a better word anyway uh maybe yeah lifeless maybe a little <laughs> um it just sounds a bit lifeless so um so anyway the ratio is pretty low it's only two two i think it's two to one 
so that's pretty good and this is you know my one of my favorite compressors uh, that I use on vocals a lot uh, I if I had sort of one plug-in that I could basically keep uh, from the Universal Audio catalog um, it would be this one that's it um, yeah that and probably the the Pultec um, the Pultec EQ those two are definitely two of my favorites and live on in every mix that I do Okay, so um, what else? We, the drums, I remember, were uh, the most of the, not all most of the layers, but um, the main definitive layers of the drums. Uh, possibly the triangle. Let me have a look. See all these here, yeah, the triangle, everything. So these are all the MIDI, the MIDI parts that were done by Hip Hop Kit. Hip Hop Six was a kit on the Motive keyboard, the Yamaha Motive keyboard that I still have. Um, and basically I just it was all programmed through there on different channels um, I'm not sure what the blomp is let me have a quick listen to the, what that is and it's got a little bit of reverb on there I might maybe back off that reverb it's a little bit heavy so where does that blomp come into into things let's have a quick listen to the verse And I remember there's some nice little fills. So I've got some brushes and snares. I'll just mute the crashes for now, we don't need them. Reverse snare as well. And all together, the drums, let me just go through the, maybe through the chorus, actually the pre-chorus, most of the drums are evident there. I'm still a big fan of triangles, I did love my triangles. And there's a nice little feel coming in to the chorus. Times. Extra snare in the chorus. It sounds like they're alternating as well. It's a short one and a long one. Then look at the percussion here. Okay. Pretty in incessant. Tambourine there, and yeah, so that snare's alternating. I like that. Um, I'll probably do some of that today as well. So, like I said, this was done quite a while ago, and um, yeah, and anyway, we're going to do redo it with, with live drums. So that'll be cool. Um, the the bass, I played the bass. So let's just hear that. Oh, and the piano. Let's not forget the piano. Um, yeah, like I said, uh, Jessie's uh, quite a quite an accomplished musician. Um, she's a good player, and um, she that's all the MIDI for it. Now I do recall it at some stage her telling me to sort of to get out of the chair and let her in. To um, she kind of liked to get in there and um, into the piano role of Logic. Uh, she was uh, she was quite confident in getting in there and adjusting things herself. So yeah, I think I'm pretty sure at some stage um, she went in there and adjusted the piano track, which we finally printed as audio here. Uh, I believe we used the piano on the Motive keyboard. Um, then we would have gone through um, a pair of pre's, uh, some LA audios that I have. I actually still have them. Anyway, let's uh, have a listen to the bass and a few other things.
pretty funky kind of line. With the acoustic. And there's another little guitar hook. which is a little bit of an ambient kind of guitar hook. Pretty moody. So I've actually got no, got no compression on this at the moment. I might just put something on there. Um, here we go. Actually, really been using the old timer. I like the, uh, I do like the low ratios that come with it. Um, they've also got a mastering version, but yeah. And the beautiful thing about it as well is it's got zero latency. And there are some live chimes are there. Um, it's quite a few backing vocals, not huge, huge stacks, um, but most of them are tracked in pairs of uh, in in fours, so two pairs. And I just want to come back to these pink ones in a little bit. Um, they're kind of, I think I need to do some treatment on them. So I kind of wanted to do that with you live. And originally, um, just open up the mixer. And originally, these weren't as weren't panned as as far as that. They were probably around here when I opened up the session and uh, when I had a, just a quick listen, I thought, you know, we could go a little bit wider here. We do want the chorus to kind of like just explode and, uh, you know, be magnificent there. So uh, I've, I've really just put a couple of those uh, backing vocals super wide and I'll probably put that on the bus here. I've got a compressor, as you can see on all those um, channels. I don't have any EQ. Um, so typically you'd probably want to cut some of the low end out. I don't want to um, I don't want to hit this compressor too hard and if you basically don't roll off some of the low end you're going to be hitting the compressor um, a lot harder than you probably want to. So I have pulled out some low end there and these are all things that you know um, are probably going to be um, scattered throughout my videos or not um they're in there somewhere but that's why doing doing music and recording music is the is the best way to learn um this craft it really is um okay so we're just going to solo these bvs you still care do you want me there and we could probably tidy up a little bit there there's some little some noise going on breaths and stuff we you know we don't need to hear well, why isn't that working that's interesting could be because it's an old session or something it's not liking there it is okay so yeah i'd probably typically get rid of all those breaths we don't need to hear uh four different takes um of vocals inhaling there because we've got the lead vocal uh it's, and it's, that's that's basically the uh the lead vocal here is uh, is the centerpiece, so. Do you still care? Do you want me there? Are you wondering what I'm doing? Am I still the one you're choosing? Baby, now are you still mine? Do you want me all the time? Do you think of us together? Still believe we're gonna be forever, baby. So these are... Th these uh, pink vocals are kind of like an ethereal thing 
and they've got an old reverb on there. This is Platinum Reverb. I don't think it comes with the new Logic. I don't think it's even in there. Uh, it could be under a legacy subdirectory or something, but uh, yeah, I had to really, I had to actually just yeah struggle to find it uh, when I did um, some time ago. Not that I'm really, I used to use it all the time, and um, anyway, it's been surpassed now. So um, yeah, it could be under legacy. Anyway, I won't go there right now. But I'm doing, I'm doing it right now. Yeah, it's not there. Silver is, the, but not platinum. How bizarre. Anyway, I'm probably going to tweak that reverb here. Uh, let me just open this up. Solo these vocals. You know, let me just change this. And let's go something super wet. Strings are up as well. So that's really nice. Um, some ad libs there as well. I like how sort of verse two and the pre and the sorry the pre-chorus, uh, second pre-chorus kind of has some additional uh, backing vocals in it. I think that really builds nicely. I've uh, got some strings here as well. These were taken from the Motive keyboard as well. And the breakdown's really nice. So yeah, um, just just with that, um, I mean, out of all the things I could have picked, um, I feel like that kick drum here coming in uh, on that final chorus could be bigger. So you know, I can always just boost the level there, or I would maybe steal a bigger kick drum. And let me just see which one is actually at the start of a bar that I can steal. Let me steal this one. Yeah, I just feel like that's a really big moment in the song. There's a lot going on. And that kick drum just got a little bit lost. So I could, you know, typically I could automate it. Or we could put in a new one like that. Let's see how that sounds. Are you wondering what I'm doing? So I feel like that that actually hits a lot better now. Are you wondering what I'm doing? Am I still the one you're choosing? Baby, now I am. Are you wondering what I'm doing? Am I still the one you're choosing? Baby. Looks like there's a little bit of overlap here with the crashes. So 
so that other one wasn't wasn't sounding and might be quickly just be good to check if there's no okay there's two different crashes there do you still care are you wondering what i'm doing am i still the one you're choosing baby anyway moving on what else is really cool um the acoustic guitars the breakdown i really like that breakdown oh uh, that's right um something that um that jesse really enjoys is this outro guitar lick uh, that i came up with i'll just solo it <laughs> And that's it, yeah. So let's just see how that works. Really, one thing I really love about this track is just the outro. I mean, we could have we could have cut it. You know, it's quite long. It's quite a long tune, uh, especially by today's standards. Um, I mean, it's almost. It's almost five minutes and um, you know this outro here we just kept it going because we liked it so there's lots of ad libs there's lots of um, beautiful background vocals the guitar licks and it's all nice and ambient and everything's just um, grooving along I mean, you know, that we could definitely add some more. These particular vocals here add a little more reverb to them. I mean, you know, let's just get rid of get rid of some of this stuff. Definitely filter the the low end there. Um, what was the delay set at? It was set on quarters and eighths. Okay, as you can see, um, I'm kind of filtering the delay as well. Uh, I think I ran through that on my recent tutorial, uh, but I might just I might just get my sound toys. happening and here we go let's see how this sounds
I'm really um, looking forward to re-recording this, working on the new version, but there's some things that I just, you know, I feel like we need to sort of try and keep as well. Um, I'd really miss them if they if we didn't redo it. So anyway, um, that's a bit of a breakdown on this track, and I hope uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'll put a link to um, to Jesse's channel in in the bottom there, um, so you can check out her videos and um, yeah. And there you go. I mean, until next time, have fun making music. Cheers.